Now it's time to learn the entire B-flat major scale. No more, only five notes. We're gonna play the whole thing. So we already know B-flat, C, D, E-flat, F. Now to that we will add G. From F to G, just lift up your index finger in your right hand and you have a G. From G to A, lift up the ring finger in your left hand. And from A back to B-flat, you already know B-flat. Same fingering as the lower octave, B-flat. First index finger in the left hand, thumb. First index finger in the right hand, pinky. So you notice from F to G to A, they're quite easy. In fact, they're easier than C to D, which involves so many finger movements. The F, G, a, and even somewhat to B-flat are much more simple. So if you can handle the first five notes of the scale, the last couple should be no problem. Let's play together the entire scale. We'll start by doing one half note per note with a half note rest in between. I'll play with you and I will count off. We'll go all the way up to the top of the scale and then all the way back down. One, two, three, four. Awesome. If you're having a little bit of trouble with the top notes, don't worry. They're just a little bit, a little bit tougher and they take a little bit more air. Notice that the only difference between the low B flat and the high B flat is the amount of air speed that you use, which makes things a little bit difficult, but not once you get the hang of it. Let's practice going from the low B flat, the very first note of the scale, to the high B flat, the top note in the scale. They're fingered the same way. The only difference is the airspeed, so use just a little bit more, a little bit more from the bottom of your stomach through the flute, and we'll see what happens. Let's do half notes to each note, no rest in the middle. I'll count four. One, two, three, four. Practice that on your own a couple more times and in no time you'll understand the difference between the two notes. Let's move on in our scale exercise and do two quarter notes with a half rest in between. Two quarter notes for each note with a half rest in between. I'll play with you. One, two, three, four. Awesome. One more time, same thing, but we're going to play eighth notes instead of, instead of quarters. So four eighth notes, half rest, four eighth notes on the next note, half rest, and so on. One, two, three, four.
And there you have it. Now you know an entire scale, B flat major. There are a lot of songs that we use in popular music and movies, you hear them all over the place, that really emphasize that same major scale. You can already play them because you've just learned it. For instance, Joy to the World. Sound familiar? It's the same scale we just played, down from the top all the way to the bottom. Another popular song is Do a Deer from The Sound of Music. and so on. So there you have it, the B flat major scale in all of its variety. Knock yourself out, invent your own songs. Enjoy. <laughs>